Volume is by far the most important thing out here when it comes to success in dating. You're on your way to the grocery store. Talk to women on the street on the way there. You get to the grocery store. Talk to the women at the grocery store also shopping. On your way back from the grocery store, talk to women on your way home. You wanna use every opportunity you get to talk to women. You're on the escalator. Talk to the chick that's sitting in front of you or behind you. You're in line. Talk to the chick that's in the line with you. You're on the bus. Talk to the chick that's sitting next to you. Use every opportunity you get to talk to women because there are gonna be women that have boyfriends. There are gonna be women that you're not their type. There are gonna be women that are having a bad day so they're not trying to talk to anybody. There are gonna be women that are gay so you are never gonna get with them anyways even if they found you attractive. So you wanna keep your volume going, keep the volume up, keep this shit running 24 seven. You do not need to be talking to women necessarily because you're trying to get at them. Talking to women is a skill. Charming women and being charismatic is a skill that you must get good at. So when that woman that you find super duper attractive comes around, you have no problem. You're not having approaching anxiety. You're not fumbling on your words. You're not stuttering. Well, you're gonna go and have a great interaction with that woman. And your chance of getting with her is gonna be very, very high because your skill is at a very high level. I'm not here to tell you that the way you're running your dating life is wrong. Some of you guys may think that you're doing some things wrong, but you're not. You're doing excellent, bro. All I wanna do is share with you some of the things I'm doing to get my results and some things that's making my life easy when it comes to dating these women out here. Talk to women who you're not interested in. Doesn't matter, just talk to women. Get experience, get practices. Approaching and talking to women is a skill just like basketball. A basketball player will go to the court and shoot 100 free throws and 1,000 three-pointers so that when the game comes, He's ready, he's knocking them down like there's no tomorrow. It's the same thing when you're dealing with women. You wanna be out here talking to women, practicing your skills and flirting, being charismatic, charming women. So when the time comes, you see that girl that you really, really want like that, this shit is easy. You get her number without even thinking about it. You're not even hesitating. You're not fumbling all up on your words. You're not stuttering and shit like that. Cause you've been practicing, you know what to do. You know how to respond to a woman when she's giving you shit tests. You know how to transition the small talk into flirting because you've been practicing with the women who you're not even really that attracted to. This is not a skill that you just take a pill to gain. You have to practice this and become better at this over time. The second principle of dating is to have a program and the way you do things. Guys are always thinking about how dating is so hard, dating is so complicated and difficult, but it does not have to be if you have a way that you do things. Your program is based on your personal life and it's about you and who you are. You might be the type of guy that says that, I don't wanna deal with women who show up late. And next time you invite a woman out to a date and she's showing up 30 minutes late, she's constantly being late, I don't have to tell you to let this girl go because she's not adhering to your program. You can't expect women to come accepting and knowing this shit. You have to let her know. You guys go on the first date and she shows up 15 minutes late. You have to let her know, hey, I don't like dealing with people who show up late. I really hate it when people show up late. So next time, please, I need you to be on time. And next time she shows up late, you already know she's gotta go because she's not fucking with the program. She's not trying to adhere to the program and your lifestyle. You might be the type of guy that says that I only do coffees for my first date. You might match with a chick on Tinder and you invite her to coffee and she's on some shit like, oh, can we get dinner instead? <laughs> if she ain't trying to get the coffee, then you know that this chick is not about it like that. You know this chick is not feeling you all that much. The women who like you are gonna come and follow your program with excitement. They love that structure that you have because they know that if they wanna deal with you, they're gonna have to follow that structure. And you can't be flexible when it comes to this shit because when you disrespect your program, you disrespect yourself. And the man that's disrespecting himself makes it easy for the woman to disrespect him and therefore, she can't truly like you and truly love you because she doesn't respect you. Your program is here to let you know whether you should take this woman seriously or whether you should let her go. Leave a comment below to let me know about your program and how you run your dating life. When I'm dealing with a woman, the only thing I'm looking to see is, is she gonna follow the program or is she not? That's all I'm looking for. I go talk to a woman and she rejects me. I don't got time to cry about this shit. I don't got the time and energy to wonder why she wasn't trying to fuck with me. I don't care. I'm moving on to the next girl. Taking women's words and actions seriously is only gonna leave you mentally drained. So how a woman feels has nothing to do with you. 
You do what the fuck you gotta do. You worry about what you need to do and stay focused at the task ahead and what the fuck you're trying to do and whether the woman is following you or not. That's all you need to worry about. Out of those three things we just talked about, having a program is by far the most important one because the other two fall under having a program. Without a program and a way that you do things, you're basically running around like a headless chicken. You will reach your goal a lot sooner rather than later when you have a structure of how you do things. Remember, this is a numbers game, so use every opportunity you have to talk to women and make sure you have a program so you can know which women you need to take seriously and which women you need to let go. And also, do not waste time and energy worrying about what women are doing and why they're doing what they're doing. Move on to the next woman who's cooperating. Click this video on the screen to find out the three signs she absolutely will sleep with you.